Welcome back. Tim and Sid on yet another vacation. So Jeff Blair, David Amber uh, filling in their seats and uh, we're talking Blue Jays baseball. It's all-star weekend. Uh, we went into the break saying a lot of people are writing the O bit for the Jays and maybe understandably last in uh, the East, 12th in the AL. They've got to climb past seven teams to get to the postseason into a playoff position. So Jeff, that begs the question, have you writ their O bit? Uh, I got it right here, and I'm just about to hit enter. No, not, <laughs> not that, not, not quite. that close, not that close. Uh, you, I mean, you you made the most salient point. There's seven teams. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of teams in front of them and the wild card spot. And at at this stage of the season, after the All Star break, that's really what counts almost as much as the as the games behind. It's the number of teams in front of you because that means that more has to go right for you uh, in order for you to advance. And it's never a Good thing, by the way, when when uh, when when Major League Baseball's network breaks down the wild card standings and your team is in there, like you know they break them down and the only, only two or three teams yeah, are yeah, omitted, and yeah, you're one of the teams. You're one of the, on the teams list, yeah. omitted, which I, I noticed was happening today. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in in any type of omen, but I mean, look, uh, they're a team that doesn't hit with runners in scoring position. They play below average defense, and their pitching's been inconsistent. At times, it's been very good. At times, it as was the case Sunday, just not good enough. Yeah, and, and that's been the story this year. I mean, they started out, what, one and nine. They've never really found the traction there, and, and it's hard to pinpoint because it hasn't been pitching or hitting, or it's been a number of things. Mm. Uh, why haven't you hit the, the, the send button? And I guess what I mean by that is they've won five games in a row twice all year. They haven't shown they can go on this epic 20 games above 500 run that they clearly need now. Yeah, there's a couple of things. I mean, the first reason is, I'm not certain how many really good teams there are in the American League other than the Houston Astros. Mm. Uh, I, you know, I, look, I think Boston obviously uh, deserves to be in the conversation. Cleveland to a certain degree. But other than Houston, there's really no team that, that scares me. And, and we've seen teams in the East kind of play back to the pack this year. So that's part of the reason. The other thing is I want to see what Mark Shapiro and Ross Atkins do at the trade deadline. Now, they have said that they're interested in keeping open this window of opportunity, that they're not interested in a teardown. I don't know if that means they're going to go out and take on a bunch of money and trade for Giancarlo Stanton or anything like that, but I think what it does mean is they're at least willing to look outside the organization to address the issues we talked about and maybe you know, make deals that will not only help them this year but help them next year. Because the one good thing about where the Blue Jays are right now mm -hmm. is the stuff they need to help them next year would immediately help them this year. Well, here's the name that keeps being thrown out right now, as you know, is D. Gordon with the Marlins. This guy's got a lot of speed, a lot of upside. How good a fit would he be, and how serious do you think Jays management are in landing this guy? I'll tell you, there's a couple of things that, that intrigue me about D. Gordon. First of all, he's everything they want. He's a second baseman. They, they simply can't trust Devin Travis anymore to be their everyday second baseman. He's a left-handed hitter. He's got some speed. Uh, he's due about $45 million through 2020. That dovetails nicely with Roberto Osuna, Aaron Sanchez, and Marcus Stroman. They're all free agents in 2021. So if you are the Blue Jays and you're looking at keeping those three core pitchers together, which you ought to be, now you're adding a guy who's going to be there with them. So everything kind of fits together. The one concern I would have is he's 29 years old. Yeah. And speed is one of those skill sets that diminishes with age. That would be my one concern. But it makes sense that they'd be talking to the Marlins because Jeffrey Loria owns the Marlins. He's selling the team. And with Jeffrey Loria, a fire sale is always just around the corner. So there are a lot of teams kicking the tires on Giancarlo Stanton. And there'll be teams kicking the tires as well in D. Gordon. It's funny, D. Gordon has as many steals, 32, as the entire Blue Jays team. So you and I have help. as many steals <laughs> as the it's that bad. Blue Jays do. Real quickly, though, Jeff, if, if they're not buyers, let's say this mm -hmm. D. Gordon thing doesn't happen, Stanton doesn't happen. If they're not buyers, does this definitively mean the Jays are going to be sellers? No, I, I think what it means is that they're, going to be, they're going to be tactical acquirers. And what I mean mm -hmm. by that is, again, getting guys that will help them this year but also help them next year. They're not interested in getting somebody's top-end prospect at single A. I don't even know if they're interested in getting somebody's top-end prospect at double A. They want a major league-ready player, preferably with a few years of control left. 
And they were going to need that next year anyhow because they probably weren't going to have Batiste. Do you want to upgrade in left field? Yeah. You know, Travis has hurt a second base. You're missing two starting pitchers. They were going to have to make those moves anyhow. So I'm sure Ross Atkins and Mark Shapiro are saying, hey, if we can make those deals now, let's do it now because we'll have that player for half a year, and who knows? Maybe it takes us to the playoffs. A lot of baseball left to be played. 70-some-odd games. Left. July 31st deadline, right? The soft July deadline. July 31st right. deadline. All right, so a lot to be determined in the next August few weeks. August 1st, actually. August know. 1st, okay. So we got a, even another day, an extra day to wheel and deal for the Blue Jays. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye on as we've hit All-Star Weekend, or week, I guess, the Midsummer mm -hmm. Classic in baseball. 